Hey everyone, and welcome to Yawn Paradox. I'm diving into another puzzle game since we just finished up Glitch, glitch Space. Keep this train going, right? So this is a strange puzzle game. I don't know much about it, but I know the specific gimmick for this one is that uh, as you try to solve puzzles, previous copies of you will play back over and over again, and you have past clones of yourself, so it's sort of like a t multiple layers of time travel overlapping each other. Read those signs for instructions. Just make sure there's none behind me. Alright, so let's learn about this together. So, escape to pause the game. This is a virtual dimension. At the end of the corridor, you will find the time machine room. The time machine is broken. If the future sees the past, nothing happens. If the past sees the future, a paradox will occur. What lies over a space-time paradox? Death? A new life? You are alone here, yet you will meet others. So that's definitely pretty much what I was saying, yeah, is that there's going to be copies of me in the area. The broken time machine causes a time rewind every 120 seconds. When the time rewinds, your position won't be changed. A new past your, your, of yourself will, be, will appear. If a past yourself sees you, a space-time paradox will occur. So you don't want to encounter old versions of yourself or you're going to be in some trouble. So every two minutes there's going to be a copy of me, so I need to try to solve the, whatever puzzles are involved. Possibly relying on past versions of me, but at, least, at the very least trying to avoid in, uh, impacting past future, uh, versions of me while I try to get through here. This is a young year. Collect them to repair the time machine. So that's my goal, right? Uh, the one- looks like the time- the countdown hasn't started yet, then. Solve the puzzles in each area to obtain Young Gears. Young Gears? Young Gears? I'm not sure how to go with that one. Uh, get all the Young Gears in an area, then come back to repair the time machine. You'll unlock the next area. The hourglass tells you how much time you have before the time rewind. Past this point, the time machine will activate. Alright, good luck, me. Don't entirely know what we're getting ourselves into. Go! Oh, go here. Alright, we have two minutes. One out of one, 116, 112, 118. So, that must be how many you need to get into each one. It must be saying that I currently have one, so I can go into the yellow one. I hope. Two minutes. Grab A with left click. Release, uh, press again to release. So it's toggle grabbing. What's the deal over here? More time. Can I go in this? No. Ooh. Ooh, hello. You can solve a puzzle here. Okay, fine. Gotta be careful not to get caught while we're here. This is a little weird. Let's get these off of here. Put that there. Hey, buddy. Oh, time limit's running out, so a past version of me is going to show up soon. And I don't have a lot of confidence in how I'm doing so far, so far at this. This feels really strange to try to solve. Let's see here. Put this one on top. Oh, they're stuck on each other. Alright. They made this slightly cumbersome. You get in there. There we go. The beep. It's the affirmation uh, beep. Okay, this is actually slightly cumbersome. Do you go in here somewhere? How's that t uh, countdown's running out? Something's, he's gonna come after me soon. I don't want to see the past version of myself. It feels like we have too many pieces for this thing. Also, I can't seem to get this thing out. This blue one seems stuck inside the puzzle. There we go. I'm running out of time. Maybe I should move on to a different place before I get in sort of some sort of trouble here. Was that good? Oh. Now there's gonna be a copy of me. Let's get out of that particular spot before I get in some trouble. Let's go over here. I'll start working on a puzzle over here. Hi. Let's see if I can see myself. Oh. Wow, it's actually a line of sight thing where it freaks out. Interesting. Okay. I gotta say, the uh, object manipulation is kind of not great so far. It's act you, you can probably tell I'm struggling just to put things in the right spot. 
I'm kind of worried that this might be the what happens when we in the new wave of VR games is that if you try to just play games as a normal PC gamer, you might start having problems where it's like, yep, this is a huge pain to control. So I got one. Oh, we're doing this puzzle, huh? So I assume I want to stack them over here, ultimately. And you can't, yeah, you can't stack them on smaller ones. It's, it is absolutely that puzzle. I assume I want to put them on the far right because it's all glowy. So move the big one over there. Small one over here. Middle. Small. There we go. Now we've got two of them. Gotcha. Alright. Moving on. Gotta watch out for old me. That's a big chamber. That seems important. Do I need to... Oh, grab you. I was starting to, I was starting to wonder if I need to use a passive version of me, tell us principle style, to, to solve that one. I th so uh, this seems like it'd be a tutorial for a series of mechanics for later in the game. Because they're really brief puzzles so far. Except for that weird one where I couldn't... It was really having trouble just moving 3D objects around. There's one up there. Do I have to... S Do I have to stand here as two people at once? Is that the implication? Or does it just rotate back and forth? It seems to rotate back and forth. Alright, so there's these weird beams here. Do I must want to have them overlap? Is this thing rotating with them? I see the lasers up there. Let's look at the... Look, okay, that one right there. Th there's three here, but they're spaced out, so if I rotate them... Nope. There we go. I so presumably just want them all to line up. Ooh, that's gonna mess with my line of sight a little bit. That's- don't like that sound, stop it. Sort of easing on and off a bit to try to get, get it lined up. Did that- what's that sound? Oh, it's just the lasers, okay. It's just me doing the puzzle. I'm starting to get a little weirded out. Okay. I probably have enough to fix the time machine now, right? So let's try to head back. Yeah, the, the one big remaining puzzle is... Can I go back? Yeah, let's try to go back. Can I put them in? Did I do good? Am I allowed to leave? This just seems to be going back to the path, the uh, tutorial area. I was wondering if I could like reset the clones or are they going to keep cloning forever? Like, for the rest of the game. Alright, I have five out of one there. I need one more to get to the next chamber, so I'm not done with this one then. Ah... Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this then, because there's a copy of me in this room trying to solve this puzzle. Oh god, how did I get that in my hand? I'm a little unsure about how to... They, 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 they're like awkwardly sticking together. Oh, am I dead? Did I... Die? So I guess here- I guess the question now is, do I reset the entire game? Or my progress so far? So you do get one by default walking in. Oh, it starts the whole thing over. So I must need to try to figure out how to solve this entire chamber in one go without dying. Okay. Well, this is the only real problem is this weird nightmare of having trouble making this fit together. So let's try to be careful about that. Um... Stick a diamond in there. Okay, that doesn't quite work then, does it? Whoa, okay, now it's- yeah. I'm gonna just go come out and say it. This particular puzzle is just kind of bad. <laughs> Not the, uh, puzzle on a systematic level, but just like... Physically doing this puzzle feels awful, <laughs> and it doesn't- it kind of doesn't work most of the time. We got it? Alright. Got it. Now don't mind me, I'm just gonna go- we're gonna do a nice little jump cut here, because all that's left is for me to redo the same puzzles I just did. So I, I guess the gimmick is to do them without running into your previous copies of yourself, but... That'll be awfully boring to show you guys again, because all I do is go through these chambers real quick. Since all the puzzles take place in isolated chambers in this particular world... 
I don't really have to worry about running into past copies of myself. Here we go. Give it to me. All right. Now you just need to carefully get through here without getting caught. I think I was probably stuck on that puzzle for a while, though. So I probably don't have to worry about getting caught by myself, but that, that is stuck doing the shapes all day. And now we have six. I really hope there's a checkpoint of some kind, so I don't have to do that whole chamber again. So, it looks like this time we'll be collecting six more. So it looks like there's six in each of these chambers. Here we go. We have a nice long red hallway. Ooh. I should probably be staring at the wall or something, huh? Ah, but you can't sprint sideways. I was just thinking like maybe the past version of me should be staring at the wall the whole time. What have I done? Stepping on that must have done something, right? Because it... Yeah. It's what, that's what, usually what that means. Oh. Okay. So some, a version of me has to step there to get through. Otherwise there's a maze. Hey, weird maze. We'll just see where it takes me. Oh god. Yeah, navigating a maze where past versions of yourself are gonna kill you if they encounter you. That might be a little rough. That might be a little bit rough. Sure, I know where I am. <laughs> Especially with the zero puzzles I've encountered so far. But, oh. And now there's another me coming to kill me. And because the other me is sprinting, because I was sprinting, I have to worry about very abruptly dying if they encounter me. Are you a puzzle? Um... I haven't found a single puzzle yet. Is that... Uh, yeah, that, that's a giant. Your gear? Whatchamacallit pointing at over here? So there should be a puzzle over here, right? Are they all just parts of it? They are! They're just in a maze. So maybe this one doesn't have puzzles. I just need to go find these. That one's now dead. Now here's the big risk is can I get in and out of this whole place without running into copies of myself and, and, and abruptly losing? There's multiple paths. So if I can move fast enough, I can avoid running into past versions of myself, hopefully. But the rough thing is that I can't even look away from them, because it comes down to whether or not they see me, not whether or not I see them. Oh crap, am I going back to the beginning? I might be in some trouble here. I might need the past version of me to open that door, too, for me to continue. I seem to be working closer and closer to the beginning of the... M the center of this maze. Ah, oh, this isn't going the way I was hoping we would, is it? Nope. Oh, that, that look, that's, that feels kind of new. I'm trying to find my way over to this last one. I think, from, at least from my perspective, this is probably going to feel like luck if I win. Because <laughs> I have no idea where past versions of me are, but the faster I go... The fewer there will be to deal with, at least. And the long- the more time I spend covering new ground, the less I have to worry about getting caught. But good luck. The part- oh, these are gonna be tough. I need a copy of me to stand on those bubbles, basically, don't I? That'll be t that's tough to coordinate without getting caught. So now there's two copies of me in this maze that I've gotta worry about. Two copies at once. And I can't really keep track of where they'll be at a specific time. It's gotta be a way to the middle of this thing, right? No? So there's like a button down here somewhere. And there's no... They didn't, they didn't give me an hourglass, that's a bummer. It would have been handy to have an hourglass so I can try to figure out when these button when this when this button's being stepped on so I could use that to try to cl try to sink our clocks like a bank heist or something. All right. Well, I stood on it for a while. Hopefully, in the in a future life, I can get a chance to get to that wall in time. But that'll be tough figuring out when to go. You gotta because I don't have a reference time for when it's happening, and I have to do it without getting caught by the past me because then I just die anyway. There's another one nearby. This, li this line on the floor makes me nervous that I'm going to run into another crystal anyway. Oh no. That's a dead end. 
Is there any way back besides going past the previous button? I might be in some trouble here. Yeah, there's the button again. Oh! I didn't find my way in here before, did I? So that's a, that's a button I could have stepped on before. But do I want to? If it just goes there? I've been to the other side of it before. In this case. Ow. Multiple sides. Alright, well this might get really frustrating. <laughs> Navigate a maze while also stepping on time-based puzzle- uh, panels while trying to figure out where you are in the maze. And here we're, we're looping again. I haven't encountered any of my previous loops yet. But I'm also not entirely sure where to go. Oh. It's open. So one of me must... Oh. He's going through. He's gonna step on the button, right? Uh, where am I? He goes and step on, steps on the button, doesn't he? And I, I can try to run through it. There we go. Cool, got that on accident. Maybe the other button I stepped on was... Is that one still active? No, I got that one. I've got four of them so far? I wanna say... Really don't wanna get caught. So I think I have two left, but I don't know... If I can keep my magic going. <laughs> I might, uh... I think I might stumble and fall soon. Where am I? Oh! That was weird. I kind of jumped forward for a second there. Probably coming up on the front gate soon, right? Ah! Stop teleporting me. What's going on there? I think the game might be freaking out a little bit. Maybe it's having trouble processing how many characters it's tracking at once or something. Yep, yeah, I'm definitely skipping around a little bit. I want to get to that one. I would like to get to that one, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Sweet. You're in here. I know you're in here. Alright. There we go. Five out of six. Get one more and I don't have to start over. <laughs> but that didn't happen last time. Uh, where am I? No, no, what? Okay, that needs to stop because I need to navigate a maze and you need to stop teleporting me. It's gonna really mess with me. Ooh. Some version of me toggled that off. Well, that's... Uh, the f stop it. <laughs> All the- okay, all the- The teleports are freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> Trying to navigate a maze here, come on. What? No, where am I? What? No! I wasn't here, though. I was right next to it. That's not how this game's supposed to work, though. The- the, the established rules don't- what? I was right there. That's irritating. I was right by the last piece. Now I'm not entirely sure where I am, but the fact that I'm teleporting around really hurts my chances of getting through here without running into a, a past version of me. And that's really disappointing. So this one must be time-based, because I step on it and then it stays open for a while, as opposed to disappearing. So that's good, for me. Need to find a way to that guy. But I'm worried that the teleporting version of me from the past is going to stop me. Uh-oh, where are we going? Still teleporting, by the way. Which I feel like even hurts my chances more. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I went the wrong way. Dang it. I'm not sure how I'll escape the past version of me if they show up, because they'll be sprinting down hallways like crazy. Um. Uh, they could be. Oh, shit, balls. Nah, they, it's too late. Well, you're going to be frustrating, aren't you? Alright, so... That was rough. <laughs> I, was I was getting teleported around, which really messes with your maze nav- No! You start the whole thing over. It starts over every time? All the way, and you have to beat the entire game in one go. Huh. Okay, that's what it's gonna be. 
Oh, right. I have to do the whole thing. I don't have the... I'm, I don't think I have the patience for that, in all honesty. I don't think I can do that. I mean, I think I can do that, like, physically. Like, if I wanted to try over and over again, I could do it eventually, but... Like, all the puzzles in there were boring. So doing them all again from scratch sounds boring every time. To do that at the beginning of every attempt. Then to run through an entire maze and try to map it out. And then whatever happens in the next two chambers, that's... I don't, I don't think I'm going to have any fun if I keep playing, honestly. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, guys. Uh, interesting gimmick, I guess. It does kind of feel like... Like, this game has VR uh, support, and it does feel like somebody trying to do a VR thing pretty hard. And I don't know if it... I'm not entirely sure if it holds water, ultimately. I don't know. The puzzles haven't been interesting so far, and I've seen half of the game, as far as I can tell. If these are the entire game, which I think it actually is. It has multiple difficulties, so maybe it gets harder at that point and more interesting, but... Yeah. So far, I'm not... I am think I'm going to say I'm not too inter interested in continuing. Uh, anyway, you can find this game on Steam. There's always a link in the description if you want to try it yourself. It's only like $3, which is not expensive. So you, if you want to give it a shot, go ahead. Uh, thanks for watching like always, guys. And I'll see you next time.